Welcome back. Saturn Credit Care is the company on our radar. They reported their Q3 numbers at the beginning of February and the numbers looked very good. The company's disbursements were up 27% quarter on quarter. Year on year, it was a growth of 63%. AUM growth stood at nearly 40% on a year on year basis and even the asset quality was in check. The net NPS for the company declined to 0.09%. 5% versus 1.5%. IFL also came out with a report on 12th of February where they're saying after a long hiatus during COVID, the company is well on its path to grow at 30%. They've initiated coverage on the stock with a buy rating and they've pegged the target price at 350. To talk about the way ahead, we have HP Singh, Chairman, Managing Director at Saturn Credit Care. Mr. Singh, um, you know, I know Q3 numbers were very strong, asset quality, no issues. But, you know, a lot of the anecdotal evidence, high frequency indicators, the bounce rates in the industry seem to suggest that there could be some stress. Uh, are you seeing any signs in your portfolio in the rural economy, MSMEs, where you operate? So, so if you look at the rural economy, I think, you know, the income levels and the credit demand is very, very robust, you know. Uh, with the uh, with the uh, normal monsoon which has been there, uh, and if you look at the income levels, you know uh, because of this robust demand, even the portfolio quality is holding up. You know, and you know I think you know I just want to put it uh, maybe on the record that people have been talking about stress in Punjab, and I just want to give you you know uh, a picture on that. So of the total uh, asset size of ours of own book, which is about three hundred fifty crores. Over there, it's only about nine branches out of 60 branches which have been affected by some political activism. No? And the portfolio, total portfolio in these affected nine branches, which is probably where you know uh, people are talking about the stress, is just about 40 odd crores. Out of that 40 odd crores, the NPA right now are only about five crores. So when we talk about stress and the portfolio quality, I think you know this is probably where we are standing right now. And this is holding up and this will hold up. Uh, because, as I said, because of the uh, income levels, you know, being there in the uh, in the rural economy. Mm. Um, uh, Mr. Singh, just want to know if, whether the kind of growth that one saw in the third quarter for you, I mean, both in uh, disbursals, which were uh, really surging away, uh, or even the AUM growth, I think quarter on quarter, the growth was almost 10%. Now, uh, is that sustainable? And what are the trends that you're seeing as one closes the year? See, the fact of the matter is that the states where we operate are still very underpenetrated. So if we compare to the southern state, which is probably where the penetration levels are higher, the states where we operate, which is majorly the northern area as such, uh, the states are very underpenetrated. Just to give you a, a context on this, you know, so UP, in terms of microfinance portfolio, is penetrated about uh, 15 to 16%, as compared to Tamil Nadu and Karnataka, which is close to about uh, 45 to 50%. So when we talk of growth, I think, you know, for us, uh, the geography is where we operate, uh, the kind of demand, as I said earlier, which is which is coming up, uh, to sustain a growth of about 25 to 30 percent is absolutely no greater. But you're saying that you will be able to deliver this kind of growth without any incremental stress in asset qualities. Uh, you know, would that be a fair assumption that your investors can make? Can you give us some guidance on asset quality trends as well? So absolutely, I think, you know, we've given a guidance, you know, we had an analyst, Pete, we've given a guidance that our uh, portfolio quality of credit costs would be in the range of about 1.25% uh, to 1.5%. Uh, we clocked about 1.1% by 31st December. Our own uh, uh, sense is that we will be below 1.5% in terms of our credit cost for sure, at least for the March quarter, till the March quarter. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that, uh, Mr. Singh. We'll touch base with you, uh, you know, later on to find out how FI25 is going to shape up for the company. But for now, the company is confident about sustaining a 25 to 30 uh, percent growth uh, without the asset quality, um, you know, changing, materially deteriorating. Asset quality should be stable. Get into a break. We'll come back with more on the market. Stay tuned.